Welcome to the Night Slayer. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, ESIM Studios here. Uh, so I've been seeing a bunch of chatter, talk, discussions online in regards to the new S24 series. S24 Plus. Yeah, I'm going to exchange this case. S20 came like that. S24 Plus right here. Saying that the displays... The AMOLED displays on these new Samsung Galaxy devices are quote-unquote washed out. Um, I have an S23 Ultra here to compare with. And we have a good picture here uh, that we will basically see uh, or test or compare. Now, I am going to make an update to this video. We are getting the S24 Ultra is on the way. It will be delivered tomorrow, but I do want to get something out. Um, now... Both displays are full blast, right? Let's go to display. Brightness all the way up. And both are on adaptive. Both are on vivid. Got QHD plus right there. Now let me set the t screen time out to like 10 minutes so it doesn't go out on me. <clears throat> okay. So that being said, everything is even, right? So let's actually, you know what? Um, let's go and then we'll mess with the settings. So, this is oh, here, duh, I want to show you everything is the same. So, if you go to Vivid and you go to Vivid, as you can tell here, the S23 Ultra on the left and the S24 Plus on the right are both set to vivid and both white balance is smack dab right in the middle now i may move this light a little bit and uh maybe uh, look it's they give you some pictures up here to kind of compare it and, co and contrast it to but if amoled is known for what making uh, uh displaying absolute zero darkness black colors like space black. When you're out in space, there's just not one speck of uh, light or any colors, right? So AMOLED shows absolute blacks, right? And they show vivid um, colors. That's why we love AMOLED. That's why the basically the whole industry... Remember, remember back in the day when you'd have like an LCD display uh, on some devices? Well, those have gone by the wayside, thank God. And uh, all manufacturers have gone to AMOLED. So this picture that we have here is a very, very good uh, picture to compare and contrast. Uh, both show absolute zero black. And then you get the nice, now, RGB. There's red, green, blue. There's not really any green, but you get our nice shades of red. And then same thing with the blue. Let me turn this light off and we can really tell what it's like. Okay. So, wait, is this on full brightness? It is. Okay. So this shows like, uh, this shows, this puts out like, what is it, 20, I should know this off the top of my head, but I've been going through a lot lately. So, um, it's over 2,000 nits brightness on the S23, S24+. Plus. On the left, I believe the S23 Ultra was rated at like 1750 nits. So just a little bit brighter, but we're not talking about brightness. We're talking about saturation, right? People are claiming online that this display is washed. And I'm here to tell you, after doing testing, I do not believe that's the case. And I think I know why people are saying that, but they are incorrect. Does this look washed to you? You still get the absolute blacks, and then you still get the nice vibrant colors, red, blue, that's not washed. Actually, though, that's, that's a good comparison. On the left, S23 Ultra, on the right, S24 Plus. And again, tomorrow we will bring in and incorporate the S24 Ultra. That's not washed. Now, what I think Samsung is doing is <clears throat> moving back to 
displays and uh, some older devices. Samsung has been known for years. You can tell now when I look on screen, it basically looks like a carbon copy. When I move to the right or the, to the left and look at these devices uh, with the naked eye, this one on the right, for one, let me just put it out there, it's not washed, but for two, the reds are not as vibrant, meaning this shade of red up here is not as, well, excuse me, the S23 Ultra on the left is more vibrant, this red, than this red. Um, so what I think, going back to uh, in the years past, what is Samsung known for, right, when it comes to their displays? Very vibrant colors. Very saturated colors. In fact, almost to their detriment, because some people, at least the Samsung haters, would say, well, I don't like to use the Samsung because their displays are not color accurate. They're too saturated. Or when you take a photo, like that's what a that's what the Pixel devices are known for, is being very color accurate. Uh, uh, meaning when you take a picture or you see a photo on screen, it looks like it looks like in real life. Samsung has been known to boost some of the colors or saturate some of the colors to make it just more colorful. Give it a more of a punch, right? I love that stuff. That's what I love. Um, um, and you're going to hear me say a couple more times, this, dis this display is not washed. Here's what I think is going on. Now, this is just my device, right? I don't have people, I don't have anybody else's devices in front of me. And that's why I'm going to incorporate the S24 Ultra tomorrow. But I think Samsung dialed back just a notch on the punchiness, on the saturation, right? On the vibrancy. Um, because this one on the left, S23 Ultra, <coughs> excuse me, is a tiny bit more saturated. But that does not make this one, the S24 Plus, that does not make this one washed, right? So I kind of want to try to put this, this uh, jibber-jabber uh, and, and baseless claims to bed because I do not believe they're washed. A washed display, you would you, there would be a noticeable difference. Uh, a washed display would fail to even get close to these colors. Um, that would mean that these this nice AMOLED display on the S24 Plus on the right would show uh, like it's <clears throat> faded, right? Like, look, you want to see what washed looks like? Check this out. That's washed. <laughs> that is washed. You see how the... There's, um... There's, um... That's, a, in the background, supposed to be all black. It's color space, right? So, you see that right here? That's washed. Not supposed to be like that. You see this, the gray? That's not supposed to be there. It's supposed to be either pure black or a small speck where a star is. You're not supposed to see this gray. You see, this supposed to be black like space or bright white uh, dot where a star is. So, let me see here. There we go. You see how this is washed out? I know, I'm kind of over explaining this, but that is washed. Right? That's a washed display. Now, let's go back to here. Is, does that look washed to you? No, it doesn't. So, I want to put this to bed now. See, this is easy. If it was washed, even if it was, this is a very easy, uh, correctable, uh, um, uh, I don't know, I'm struggling to find the words. I was going to say this is a easily correctable issue, but there is no issue. If there, if this display was washed, like I just showed you on um, on the monitor up there, Samsung could fix this easily with an update. Um, all this color correction is updatable via a uh, software update uh, with a security patch mixed with some other stuff. So. There's an article out saying Samsung is aware of this. Actually, you know what? I'm not streaming on StreamYard, so I cannot show 
uh, this article that I read, but it does say that Samsung is aware of the issue, right? Look at this. Look at this. Android police. Some Samsung Galaxy S24 models are impacted by washed out colors. Really? Well, where's the proof? They make the claim. Where's the proof? Yes, I've seen that, and I don't see an issue. Um, you, I don't, look, who knows what their settings were when they took this picture or this screenshot, and it loses resolution when they upload it to their servers. <clears throat> Android police probably went through two or three, four, five, maybe even six devices uh, before it finally hit my device. So I don't, don't. Look, you, you got to, um, I'm not saying don't trust Android police or don't trust this or don't trust that. I'm simply saying, please think about um, how this stuff works, right? And maybe you don't have one, right? Uh, a new S24 model. Maybe you're thinking about getting one. And this is why I don't like this article, uh, uh, articles like this, because it basically discourages people from possibly wanting to get one of these devices, right? And that's why I'm making this video. If there is a washed device, please show me. Uh, if you're watching this video and you have a washed device, please show me. Uh, at me. Uh, send me a link. And my contact information is in the description box below. Um, I'm, I'm asking you, please. I want to see proof because I just simply don't believe it. I think, what ha again, what has happened... No, wait, wait, wait hold up. Samsung Galaxy S24 users are reporting washed out colors on their devices, which could be related to a faulty toggle in the display settings. The same issue also affect, uh, affecting customers of the mid-tier Galaxy S24 Plus. I got the S24 Plus, no issues. Now, according to multiple reports, um, it says... I'm reading the bullet points. Samsung support has acknowledged the bug and plans to fix it in a future software uh, release, possibly in the February update. Here's the other thing. This is a trash article. Android police, I have given you props in the past, but this is complete shit. Re uh, reporting. Shame on you. Um, because look, now I'm not saying there's people, I'm not saying people out there don't have a wash display again i don't know i don't have their device in front of my eyes but telling from this picture that's it's worthless right and it's just basically giving you visual uh it's just giving you an, an example you can't b make your decision off of this right so they go on to say in this article there's a reddit user that claims they're a samsung employee and claims that oh yeah we're aware of it we're gonna fix it on Reddit, but it's not from a Samsung account. It's from a random user's account. So who's to say he's not impersonating Samsung? Uh, there's no proof that he is, is an employee of Samsung. Now, let's go check it out. There's a Reddit thread on this, right? Now, I know some users, I know we have uh, some subscribers, some viewers of this channel that have expressed their concern uh, to me about this quote-unquote issue. And that's why I was kind of, before I got this, we just got a yesterday, or was it yesterday? Yeah, whatever. I was kind of, you know, like, I'll put that, I'll take note of that, mental note of that, store it in the back of my head, and when I come to, when I come to it, I will address it, right? And I was kind of waiting for this device to get in, and plus, especially the Ultra. Um, but then I saw this article, and I was like, wait, hold up, let me, I gotta make a video about this. Um, so here we go to Reddit, right? Samsung Galaxy thread on Reddit. The washed out colors that many are having on the S24 is just an issue with the Vivid toggle not working. <laughs> now it's an S21 Ultra versus an S24 Ultra. I don't think that's a fair comparison. In the, uh, uh, throwing everything else to the side and just looking at those two devices, you really need last year's model to properly compare. Because look, now, uh, the S21 Ultra is a good three years old. Still a phenomenal device. Perfectly fine if you have it. I'm not trashing your device. I'm just saying the technology and the display technology, the AMOLED technology, uh, a three-year gap is a huge gap 
uh, in the mobile phone, mobile technology world. So it's not really a fair comparison. You really need last year's model to get, you know, to get as close as you can to make it a fair comparison. Now, this Reddit thread by let's let's see where this uh, if this guy he's not a they claim is a Samsung employee claiming we know about it. Um Okay, so look. Okay, brick 8406. Really works for Samsung and stated in one of the other forums they are aware of that bug no info on time frame I'm gonna click on his profile <clears throat> if I'm wrong I'm dead wrong but where's the proof he's an employee now he's got Samsung up there okay yeah well he's been he, his profile's been put on blast right in the last couple days so he could have easily switched his avatar it's very easy to impersonate uh, people or, 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 or pretend you are somebody that you're not. Uh, watch, they are a watch enthusiast, aviation lover, blah, 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 blah. Currently work at Samsung Electronics USA, so message me if you got a question. <sighs> um, where's the proof that you're an employee? Now, I don't, you know, you could be, but uh, that's what Samsung support is for. Now, it may not be the best air ginormous company, I get it, but I could make i could transform my reddit profile which i never use um into making it look like i work for samsung right easy so android please did you do your homework did you do your due diligence it looks like you just threw together some uh claims without even looking into it without even comparing and contrasting on your own your android police you should have these devices on deck like, you could have done more homework. You could have looked into this guy that says he works for Samsung. He's aware of it. Um, I just don't agree with... Like, this little... Look, I'm sure most of y'all probably don't give a shit. But <laughs> these little things bug the hell out of me. Um, maybe they shouldn't, right? But, and you know, after I in, uh, upload this video and publish it, I'll probably forget about it until uh, a subscriber or somebody else brings it up. But I'm not going to snap on y'all. I'm just saying, like, um, I just don't think there's an issue, right? I think, again, I'll, I'll end this video. I'm not going to just sit here and re repeat myself. But what I, what I think happened is Samsung dialed back the vibrant, uh, uh, the punchiness, the saturation just a notch. At least that's what my findings from my research shows me. Now, again, if you do have a S24, S24 Plus, or an S24 Ultra, and you believe that your display is washed, please email me. Uh, it, it, I have my email listed in the description box below. Uh, I would like to and, and or talk to you and or see the um, your device. I just basically... I want proof to see uh, if this is really going on. Because I think, look, uh, I'm not going to get into the politics stuff, but uh, and I'm not saying Android Police is doing this on purpose. I'm just saying hit pieces like this, right, come out. Trash Samsung for making a uh, shitty phone or making a shitty display to discourage people from buying the product. Now, am I a Samsung fanboy? Uh, sure. Am I a Pixel fanboy? Yes. Am I a nothing phone fanboy? Damn right. So there's no bias my way. If somebody was coming after Google in, in Pixel uh, with the launch of the recently released Pixel 8 series, I would have made the same video. If they do it, if this same scenario comes up with the Pixel 9 here at the end of the year, I'm going to make the same video, but I'm going to get the devices in. I'm going to compare them, and I'm going to show you my results and uh, the conclusion that I came to uh, with proof, right? So, okay, I'm done. <laughs> Sorry. So, again, if you have a wash display, if you believe you do, please email me. Um, I'm, not, I'm not going to talk to you or uh, interrogate you. I just wanted to see if you could send me a picture or a little video or something. I want to see what, what a washed, quote-unquote, washed display looks like. <clears throat> if we go back here, um, it will, let me get a little closer. 
and we'll end this. I just want to make sh show everybody that uh, settings are the same. I think Samsung just dialed back the saturation. All right? As I mentioned, Pixel lovers love Pixel because it gives them a there's nothing is oversaturated. It's a very color accurate image. Um, now, some people like Samsung because they're the opposite, right? I love the colors, love the punch of the colors. And uh, look, no, no version or no preference is better over the other. It's just that a personal preference. Um, so I think Samsung dialed it back just a little bit um, to get a slight, uh, to lean slightly towards the uh, color accurate look over the saturation look. Um, so are they going to fix it? I don't think there's anything to fix, uh, to be honest with you. Now, they may say, oh, yeah, we're aware of it in the future. Or, oh, yeah, we fixed it. You know, the placebo effect. So when people download the update, install it, restart their phone, they're going to be like, oh, yeah, yeah, it looks, it, looks, it looks fixed to me. So I don't know. Um, you can tell it's a slight shade. Now, look, again, I think they just dialed it back. Sorry, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm going to stop saying that, but I'm just I'm just trying to get my point across. Look. What is that a uh, grapefruit? So look at this grapefruit. This is the S23 Ultra on the left, S24 Plus on the right. So this I hope it's right. Grapefruit does look more vibrant, more punchy, more saturated than this one does. Quite honestly, if you gave me both of these pictures, uh, and you said, okay, what phones were these taken on, right? Blind camp, blind photo test. If you showed me this one on the left, I'd say that's definitely a Samsung for sure. And then if you showed me this one on the right, I'd be like, damn, I don't know. I think that's a Pixel. I mean, that's it doesn't look washed, right? It looks as just the the vibrancy is toned down, is taken down just a notch. Now, if you want to get back that notch of vibrance. Simply go into your screen mode, uh, settings, display, screen mode, go to vivid, and then crank it up to warm. Now, all the way is probably a little too much, but just take it down, move it over one, because that it comes like that in the middle when you hit it on vivid. I would hit it one more notch there, and does it get it close to this? Yeah, maybe, but um, it's, look, doesn't bother me. The, dis <laughs> the display is freaking awesome, so uh, I think people are... Losing their minds, maybe, I don't know. Uh, you tell me. Maybe I'm the one losing my mind. I have no idea. I'm just telling you, and again, maybe your claims are valid. I'm not there to look at the device, right? I'm just presenting to you what I see on my devices. So I'll re revisit this. I won't make it a, lo a <clears throat> long video tomorrow, but um, I'm going to get the S24 Ultra in, and we'll compare all three displays. We'll have the S24 Ultra, S24 Plus, and S23 Ultra, and then we'll see um, how that goes. But I just wanted to basically vent and let you know I do not believe there's a washed out issue. If you got any questions, give me a holler. I check the comments every day. If you think I'm retarded, oh, excuse me, excuse me. Sorry. If you think I am, uh, sorry. If you think I am uh, 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 false in my claims, uh, then please let me know, right? Uh, I apologize, I didn't mean to say that. So, <clears throat> Uh, anyways, I'll, I'll let y'all go. I'm just kind of venting, but uh, hit me up in the comments if you got any questions or concerns. Or, or maybe you have one and you say, yo, I got one. Mine's washed, right? Let me know in the comments. I need to know. I need to know something. Uh, because right here, I don't see anything. Android Police, I'm going to at you in the description box. Holler at me because I want to know your homework that you did. And don't do your homework after you see this to try to uh, clean up your, your, your act or your article. So, uh, let me know what's going on and, uh, we'll revisit this tomorrow with the S24 Ultra as well. Peace.